The question is a circular loop located on x square plus y square equals to 9, z equals to 0 carries a direct current of 10 ampere along unit vector 5. Determine h vector at 0, 0, 0, minus 4. So, from the given question, there is a circular loop that is located on x square plus y square equals to 9, z equals to 0. Means, this, there is a circular loop on z equals to 0 plane and given by x square plus y square equals to 9 and which and that loop carries a direct current of 10 ampere along unit vector phi. The direction of unit vector phi is from 0 to 2 pi that is anti-clockwise and we have to determine the magnetic intensity h at point 0, 0, 4 and then 0, 0, minus 4. Now, now we consider a circular loop situated on x y plane that is z equals to 0 plane and carries a current along unit vector phi means tangent to this circular loop. The phi is the angle made with respect to x axis and its limit is from 0 to 2 pi. Now, since here the coordinate system is cylindrical coordinate system, the coordinates are rho phi and z. Rho is the radius of the cylinder. Here the circular loop is on the base that is on xy plane. So, we have to determine the magnetic intensity h at 0, 0, 4. So, here we take a point P whose coordinate is 0, 0, 4. 0, 0, 4 means there is a height only because x coordinate and y coordinate is 0, it has only z coordinate that is h, that is h equals to 4, some height and the direction of this current is along unit vector phi. Now we use a right hand rule. The curve finger is the direction of the current and the thumb is the direction of the magnetic intensity h. So, by using a right hand thumb rule, we can represent a flux lines due to this circular loop. The direction of the flux line indicate the direction of the magnetic intensity h. Now, the first step is we take a small differential length dl vector. This dl vector is at a distance of rho with respect to origin and there is a distance vector r with respect to point p. Now to determine the magnetic intensity h we use a byard severs law. So according to byard severs law the dh vector equals to i dl vector cross r vector upon 4 pi r cube. Since we take a small differential length dl vector, so we get a small differential magnetic intensity dh vector. And here we take a cross product, cross product of dl vector and r vector. So first we determine the dl vector. Since the system is cylindrical coordinate system, so dl vector is d rho unit vector rho plus rho d phi unit vector phi plus dz unit vector z. Around the circular loop, the rho is constant. Rho is the radius of the circular loop. This is constant. And also, this circular loop is situated on xy plane that is z equals to 0 which is also constant. So that d rho equals to dz equals to 0 because rho and z are constant, a differential is 0. So after putting this, we get a dl vector that is rho d phi given vector phi. Now to determine the vector r. So from the figure, we use a vector sum so, the rho vector plus r vector is equals to vector along z axis that is 
along row that is row into unit vector row plus r vector is equals to h unit vector z this is a vector sum row unit vector row plus r vector is equals to h unit vector z because h is the magnitude and the direction is along unit vector z that is positive direction so from the figure by using a vector sum we can determine r vector r vector is equals to h unit vector z minus rho unit vector rho now we have to determine the cross product the cross product of dl vector and r vector so here we use a cross product by using a matrix so the first row having unit vector rho unit vector phi and unit vector z the second row having a component of dl vector here the dl vector has only phi component that is rho d phi here its rho and z component is zero and the third row is the component of r the component of r is rho component and z component so rho component is minus rho and z component is h so after taking the cross product we get rho h d phi unit vector rho plus rho square d phi unit vector z and the magnitude of this rho ve r vector is under root rho square plus h square so after obtaining the values of dl cross r vector the vector r and its magnitude we put it in the formula of weierstrass law that is dh vector so we get dh vector that is i upon 4 pi within bracket rho square plus h square whole to power 3 by 2 because the magnitude is under root and we take a magnitude cube that's why it becomes 3 by 2 and the cross product having rho h d phi unit vector rho plus rho square d phi unit vector z now by the symmetry the first term becomes zero that is rho h d phi unit vector rho becomes zero that is due to symmetry and we get only z component so this can also be explained as from the figure the unit vector rho can be written as cos phi unit vector x plus sin phi unit vector y here we take a unit vector rho along rho unit vector x along x and unit vector y along y here the unit vector rho makes angle phi with respect to x axis so this is a cylindrical coordinate system and the limits of phi varies from 0 to 2 pi here the unit vector x is with cos phi term and its opposite side that is sin phi term that is along y axis so as we integrate this unit vector rho over a phi that is phi greater or equals to 0 less than equals to 2 pi we get 0 as we integrate cos phi and sin phi by taking a limit 0 to 2 pi the, we get 0 that's why we get the first term that is 0 so after taking symmetrical the first term is 0 and remaining part is dh vector equals to i upon 4 pi within bracket rho square plus s square whole to power 3 by 2 rho square d phi unit vector z now since this is a small differential magnetic field intensity h to determine the total magnetic field intensity we take a integration of dh vector and the direction of dh vector is along z direction that is along unit vector z so after taking this we get i rho square d phi upon 4 pi within bracket rho square h square to power 3 by 2 unit vector z now in this there is a differential term that is d phi 
so the integration is with respect to d phi so we take a phi term within the integration and all r are constant so we take it outside this integration so there is only d phi term that is with integration and the limit is phi limit that is from 0 to 2 pi phi is the angle made by rho with respect to x axis and its limit is 0 to 2 pi in cylindrical coordinate system so after this we get the integration we get 2 pi so pi pi is cancelled and uh, we get magnetic intensity h equals to i rho square unit vector z upon 2 within bracket rho square plus h square whole to power 3 by 2. So in this way we can determine the magnetic intensity h due to circular loop at any point p that is situated on the z axis. So with the help of this formula we can determine the magnetic intensity h at 0, 0, 004. So, at 0, 0, 004, the value of H is 4 and the current is 10 ampere, which is given. Now, what is rho? The rho can be determined by using a equation that is x square plus y square equals to 9, that is given in the question. So, this is a equation of a circle. Here, x square plus y square is equals to 3 square. So, in this way we can determine rho equals to 3. So, in place of rho we can write 3. So, the magnetic intensity H at 004 is 0 0.36 unit vector Z ampere per meter. Similarly, we can determine the magnetic intensity at 0 0.00 minus H. So, in place of H we can write minus 4. Now, from the question we see that there is h square. So, when we put h equals to minus 4, it becomes minus 4 square. So, it becomes positive due to squaring of minus 4. We get the same answer that is 0.36 unit vector z ampere per meter. So, we conclude that the magnetic intensity h at 004 and magnetic intensity h at 00 minus 4 is same that is 0.36 unit vector z ampere per meter.